Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to have a look at the Instant Air Fryer Vortex Plus. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase an Instant Air Fryer Vortex Plus, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, look at what we have here, a air fryer. Now, there's a lot of reasons why I picked this particular one, but today I want to just share with you some reasons as to why you might want to get one of these, as well as some features you might want to get if you're looking for an air fryer. So the big thing about air fryers are they lessen a lot of things. For example, it takes a lot less time to cook your meals because it's a convection oven. It basically is a fan that blows hot air around in this chamber here to cook your food a lot faster. Now on that point, because you're spending less time cooking, you're also spending a lot less energy because your cook time has decreased. And also think about this, that right there, is a lot smaller than an actual oven where you would have to heat up the oven and then that in turn would heat up your entire kitchen. So an air fryer is a smaller unit and not only saves you time, but saves you a lot of energy because it's more energy efficient because it's a smaller unit. Also consider this, because we're using that hot air rotating in that cooking chamber to crisp up our food, we can use a lot less oil. So if you would like to, it's easier to make more healthy food choices. And probably the biggest selling point to an air fryer is you can put the food in there, set it, and just let it go. So if you have people in the home that don't know how to cook or are very bad at cooking, or if you have kids around the house, you just select one of these presets, drop the food in there, set it, leave it, good. All right, let's get into some size references here. So this is the six quart version, and you can get the smaller versions that make enough food for two people. But my issue with that is what if you want to make more food for leftovers, you might also just get the six quart one. Uh, so that's what this is here. Uh, here's some size references here. So here is a paper towel roll. And then for those that want an actual physical measurement, here is a 12 inch ruler right next to it. So it's just under 12 inches. And then I will flash this across this way so you can see that. So that's just under 12 going across that way. So a little bit over 12 height wise, width wise, probably under 12 inches. All right, we're looking at the side here. So the top and the front have a brushed stainless look. And although this is not stainless, it carries over that brushed texturing. So I'll drop the paper towel reference here. And again, with the ruler on this side, you can see still over 12 inches there. And then I'll give you this measurement here. That's still, well, that's a little bit, yeah, still under 12 inches that way. All right, let's get this on the scale. It definitely feels like it's over 10 pounds. Yeah, coming in at 12.7 pounds. Before getting into the operations of the Vortex Plus, I just want to give you some reasons why I chose this specific model and this type of air fryer. Number one, of course, the size. Six quarts is perfect. Again, it gives you the option of making more food than you need to, so you have leftovers, so you don't have to keep cooking and getting things dirty. So I like the size, the capacity is perfect. As we're gonna see in a little bit, the controls are very intuitive. This dial is how you increase and decrease your temperature and time. And there, there's a bunch of, on the sides here, as we're gonna see, a bunch of preset smart programs. So if you wanna set one for pizza or fries, you just press it, set it, and you're done. Now, as far as the type of air fryer, I really think that the basket air fryers are the best. And what I mean by basket is that there's just a single tray that slides in and out there. There's the oven ones, but when I looked at the oven ones, I thought to myself, that's going to run into the same mess that I had uh, with toaster ovens. And they also have the flip lid ones. But when you flip it open, you have that hot coil just in your face and you feel like it's going to slam down on your hand. So I think this probably is the easiest to use because this specific one, where's that ruler at there? Got a really big cooking area in here. Look at that. All of this is nonstick. You can clean it out. This has a tray in here. You just scrub that down nonstick. Huge area. Really sturdy basket. And when you pull it out, you can just shake it around and then insert it back in. You don't have to wear any mittens or worry about burning yourself. Very easy. All right, let's run over some of the operations of the Vortex Plus. When you first plug in your air fryer 
and the basket is all the way in, this is in standby mode. And to wake it up, you just press somewhere on the pad, and there you go. You have your presets here. This is how you adjust your time manually and your temperature, and this is your dial here. Now, once you have woken up your air fryer, the next thing you might want to do is stop this thing from making beeping noises. And the way you're going to do that is you're just going to hold down time and temperature for five seconds. It'll beep. Now, none of that is going to beep. Okay. And then to turn it back on again, just hold five seconds, long press. And it's back on. So that's totally a preference thing. Some people like the beeps. I don't like the beep. Next up, depending on what country you're in, you're going to want to change the temperature. So let's say you're going to select the air fryer setting. You just hold down temp, long press, and it goes from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and vice versa. If you want to switch it back, you just long press here. Now, you may have noticed the red cancel button and the green start button. Those will only appear when a mode is selected. So again, if you want to start, you're going to hit the green for start. If you want to cancel, just hit cancel. All right, let's talk about these buttons here. These are just preset smart programs, just like the radio stations in your car. When you want to listen to a certain station, you just click that. They're pre-programmed for you. For example, let's check out air fry. All right, so that's going to be your 15 minutes at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. That doesn't mean that broil is only for broiling or bake is going to make everything that you do in their baking. They're just preset programs that you can change. So let's go back to air fry real quick here, okay? So you see both of these are lit up, both the time and temp. Okay, if we go to broil, the temperature disappears because 400 degrees Fahrenheit is the top end. You can't go any higher than that. All right, let us select Air fry, let's go back to that. Now let's say you want to change that button. Maybe I know I like my French fries at 20 minutes. I'm gonna click on time, just change it to 20. And then if I want to change the temperature, I'll select, I don't know, like 395. And then to save it, I'm gonna hit start and then just cancel. Now when I go back to air fry, you're gonna see that it's set there. If I want to reset the air fry button, I just long press and it goes back to where it was before. All right, let's say you've gone into your air fryer setting and you've set the time to 23 minutes and I don't know, the temperature to like 395. And then you went into your roasting section and you changed that to that and then I don't know, the temperature down to that, okay? And you're like, oh, I just want to reset everything. All you got to do is hold this dial down, long press that, and you'll hear it beep and then that'll reset everything. You can see it's right back to normal. Back to factory. All right, I thought I'd point out one thing. After you're done adjusting whatever you're gonna adjust, to save it, you have to hit start and don't forget to hit cancel. All right, just some quick notes about the smart program buttons. So first of all, the reheat and the dehydrate don't have preheats, right? You just turn it on and you're set to go. Now, each of these has certain limitations to how long they can run and the temperature range. Let's take, for example, the dehydrate, all right? So temperature-wise, it can only go up to 175, but it can go really low, lower than the other options. And also the time can go and just keep going and 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 going. And versus like, let's say broil. Broil will cap out at, I think 40 minutes. And of course cap out at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So you just gotta kind of mess around with what you need. Find your sweet spot on these buttons and you'll be set to go. All right, I got you zoomed in just a little bit here. I'm gonna hit air fry. And then I'm going to hit start, and that's going to start the preheat process. It's going to beep a bunch of times, don't worry, just let it go. And then when it's ready to put food in, we'll have a look at what that says. All right, preheat is done. That took like three minutes. It says to add food. All you're going to do is yank out the basket, put your food in there, put that back in. Next message, we should see something like turn food over. So you're going to open up the chamber flip your food around, put it back in, and finish the cook cycle. It shuts off automatically. That's one of the great things about this air fryer. Going to zoom you guys in just a little bit more. You can see that it moved from preheat being lit up to cook. And then what's going to go next is turn, and then it'll go back to cook, and then it'll finish its cycle. All right, there's your turn food. I'm going to yank that out. Turn the food. Mm-hmm. Put that back in. And let it finish. And we got the countdown. Six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Auto shut off. Fantastic. Take your food out. Enjoy your food. And just as a finishing note, if you hear the fan turn on when the word end is there, that's normal. It's just trying to cool itself off. Well, all right, guys, that's how you use the Instant Vortex Plus Air Fryer. Cut down on your time in the kitchen. It's easy to use. It's more energy efficient. Your food's going to be healthier. Remember, if you want to purchase one of these, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.